everyone, it's Lauren Conlon and I am in Midtown West Manhattan at the Russian Vodka Room for an episode of Flavors of New York. I am hungry, I am thirsty, so let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, how are you today? My name is Nick. Welcome to Russian Vodka Room. Thank you so much for having me. I've heard amazing things about this place, about the food, about the vodka, so I'm hoping I can try a couple things and showcase your beautiful restaurant. Of course, we're famous for 25 years for our fused vodkas and our food. And what would you like to try today? Oh man, I don't know. Let me see a menu and then I will, yeah, take a look. Our menu for you and we have a lot of vodkas and the back page you can choose any uh, flavors and all vodkas is organic oh my gosh this is so cool how did i not know about this place i feel like this is such a hidden gem in manhattan right yeah we like uh vodka style speakeasy it's hiding and for close uh, around the people who know about that wait i need everyone to hear that <laughs> you are a vodka speakeasy this is amazing a vodka speakeasy let's all say that together so yeah. cool what's your favorite fruit bag see i like spicy spicy oh we have a jalapeno vodka and we have a ginger vodka yeah, let's do it yep we will ask bartender to make it would you like a, a chilled or just a shot chilled can we have please. a please a chill jalapeno vodka? Absolutely. Thank you. I mean, how do you say thank you in Russian? Uh oh my gosh. Spasiba. Spasiba, okay. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Spasiba. <laughs> Ginger and pure vodka. Okay. Use all our vodka. <laughs> Thank you. 30 days. 30 days infused. Okay. Right. So, do people sip this, shoot this? Like, how does it work? So, you can sip it, you can just shoot it. It's up to you. Okay. And what exactly is in this? I know I said I would like jalapeno or ginger vodka, whatever. What, what exactly is this? That's uh, ginger infused vodka. We infuse it like for 30 days and it's no sugar in it. We only use honey. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sip it just so I don't um, act a fool. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. Oh man, that's so good. It doesn't have the bite of a martini, let's say, that would, because the ginger sort of takes away the, the bite, but it's so yummy. Oh my gosh, I could actually shoot this. I actually, yeah. <laughs> then do it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I saw you guys had happy hours and live music. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, we have a every day from four to seven happy hour where shot of vodka, five dollars, beer, five dollars, and wine, five dollars. And also every day from seven to eleven we have live music every single day. We play live jazz, blues, Russian music, Russian folklore, everything. And sometimes we have a opera Monday. Opera Monday and live music every night. Yep. This place is like a no-brainer. Why would you not come here? <laughs> so you mentioned this place was a speakeasy, but you also have food, I saw. Oh, so tell me about some of the dishes. Oh my gosh, we have a lot. We have an appetizer, salad, soups, hot of that, main course, dessert. But of course, the most famous our dishes, it's Ukrainian borscht. Okay. Our Russian potato salad. Herring with potatoes, if you're drinking vodka, it's the best. Okay, so can I ask you, I don't, I'm not familiar with Russian, or Ukrainian borscht, what is that? Ukrainian borscht, it's pretty much potato beets uh, soup. Oh, okay. It's really good. Okay, cool. And it's for summertime, we also serve in this cold. Okay, so you can have borscht hot, hot or, or cold. Yes. Okay, and the Russian potato salad, that's very popular? It's extremely popular. Okay. It's uh, just uh, simple potatoes, uh, onions, eggs, uh, cucumbers, and I believe snow peas. So tell me about the herring. Uh, our herring, it's a marinated herring, and it's coming with potato. Okay. It's really good, especially with your vodka. Delicious. I'm sensing a theme here with potatoes. 
right? Yeah. Russians are very into potatoes. And, yeah. Okay. It's like it's easy to grow. It's like uh, national cuisine. It's like mostly potatoes, to be honest. Okay. Potatoes and meat and fish. Okay. Well, I'm I'm very excited to try. I'm very excited to pair with my vodka. So I'm ready. Then, if you haven't tried any of them, you have to try all of them. Okay. I'm down. Okay, guys. Your food is ready. That's herring with potatoes. And that's Olivia traditional potato, Russian potato salad. Oh my gosh, this, enjoy. this smells so good. And wow. What is this right here? The it's a beet salad. Beet salad, okay. Yes. All right. So guys, that's hot appetizers, Russian dumplings Ooh. with beef. Enjoy. What is the sauce on the side? That's sour cream. Sour That's cream. how we eat the dumplings. Dip it on in the sour cream. Okay, cool. All right. This looks amazing. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I think I'm going to try the potato salad first. Yep. Let's start with that. Okay. Let's start with that. Would you like to some salt and pepper? No, I'm good. Thank you so much. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're so nice. Okay. Really, really, really nice. Very good. Better than your average cookout potato salad. I'll definitely say that. I'm gonna go for the dumpling now. It tastes a lot of dill, which I like. I'm a big fan of dill. Yep. Um, and I see some dill on the dumplings as well. I wonder if I should, I'm gonna cut it in half actually. Let me see. So these are beef dumplings with dill and a little bit of sour cream on the side. Ooh, I am so into those. Are those your favorite? Yes, we have a beef, lamb, potato, cherry, and cheese. But my favorite is beef. Oh my gosh, these dumplings are to die for. They're literally soft. The meat is amazing. It's so tasty. I am so into these. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna beat these dumplings, but I'm gonna try the herring. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of the beets to it. Ooh. Okay, so it's slightly on the fishy side, a little salty, but with the beets, I think it makes a really good pair. You guys are very good at pairing things together. I'm gonna wash down my herring with some of the vodka. Oh yeah, so good. You weren't yeah. kidding. This guy knows what he's talking about, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Amazing. And now we're waiting for Ukrainian borscht. Yes, the borscht. It will take a bit, and we're preparing a uh, dark Russian toasted bread. Okay. And we've got a little surprise for you. <gasps> it's We will call that Taste of Russia. <laughs> okay, a surprise for Taste of Russia. Yep. I'm into it. I can't wait. So tell me more about the infused vodka that I see up here. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of different vodkas. We can start with raspberry. Oh. And like we have a sweet, sour, any vodka. Like raspberry, cranberry, horseradish, lychee, blackberry. What's the yellow? Sorry. Yellow? I yeah. Like it's pineapple. Pineapple. Oh, that yeah. sounds amazing. We used to have 101 uh, different fused vodkas, but now we decided to keep only 25. 25. Okay. What is the red right there? This one, it's raspberry. Raspberry, okay. And what's next to it? Uh, this one, it's pepper dill vodka. What is that? It's a, a vulgar pepper and dill. Oh, dill and pepper. Yes. See, I feel like I that's probably the only one I wouldn't really want to try, but... No. It's, it's really good? good? You have to try. Oh, well now I have to try. <laughs> we will ask for that. Okay, great. Know. Awesome. The only one I don't want to try, I have to try <laughs> apparently. Dill and pepper. All right, I'm here for it. Yeah. Why not? We will ask bartender to make us a shot of vodka. Just give me one second. Alright, that's Ukrainian borscht. Served with sour cream. It's actually vegetarian, no meat in it. And of course, we eat it with a bread. <laughs> okay, I'm Enjoy. excited. Thank you so much. I'm seeing again the theme of the dill and the sour cream here. So, I guess I'll add a little bit. Ah, it looks really good. Ooh, 
That's really nice. I can tell in the winter this would be something that you really want to warm up with because it's just, it tastes like a comfort food, right? It's like home cooking. Or if I was from Russia, it would be home cooking or Ukraine. But no, it's absolutely delicious. It's so good. Yeah, it's beef soup, beet soup uh, with like carrots, potato, peppers, and you put the sour cream inside. Mm. Yeah, so good. Are you ready for your pepper deal shot? Oh, yes, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> the one I didn't want to try, but I apparently have to try, so. People obsessed with Garlic them. pepper deal shot. Garlic pepper deal, okay. I think that the perfect combination was the borscht. <laughs> it actually, it smells a little garlicky. Mm -hmm. Scared, but okay. All right, it, it tastes like a like a soup almost. <laughs> like it's like, you know, like the spices. It's actually not terrible. It's actually not terrible. I wouldn't choose it, but I'll take another sip. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So I noticed a lot of the vodkas and the dishes, they're very savory. They're not sweet. Can you tell me more about the cuisine that is, is savory here. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's like a Russian tradition. For spices, we only use salt and pepper, and that's it. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we use some of spices, like a lover or stuff like that, but mostly so, you was right. Right, and with the vodka, a lot of places, you know, the vodka is very sugary, or they mix these sugary drinks or, or mixers with it. You guys don't do that here. We're not using sugar at all. And why our guests never have a hangover next day? Ah! Because it's not sugar. You're not getting a hangover. You can drink as much vodka as you can, as long as you can walk. Oh, okay. Well, I can still walk, but that's actually so fun to hear. They don't use sugar in their vodkas at all, so people don't get hangovers. Love nope. it. We're using only honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And now we have something special for you. Ooh. So that's a sampler actually. Uh, that's salmon raw called red caviar and that's Osetra, Osetra black caviar. You yeah. guys got me caviar? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to try this caviar. That was so nice of you guys. I'm so excited. Let's try it. All right. I feel like princess. So I'm going to actually try the salmon caviar first. Let's see. The bellini. Why are these called bellinis? I never understood that. Mm. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's so, so delicious. It just tastes expensive. It tastes very expensive. I'm gonna go for the other one. All right, cheers. You know, I think I might like the salmon caviar. I didn't think I would, but that is so good. I mean, they're both amazing, but wow. the salmon is amazing. And so, should I drink vodka after this? Usually how it works, you have a steep, uh, of vodka, eat caviar, and you finish your shot. Oh, well, I probably won't finish. Well, you know what? Why not? I'll sip it and then. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wow. I did it. Yeah. Yes, that's how you do it. You're yep. almost Russian. I'm almost Russian. Thank you, Bajana, and thank you, Nikolai. This has been an amazing episode of Flavors of New York, all because of you guys. Thank you so much for coming. I hope to see you soon and try some new flavors next time. This pleasure. And see you in a few hours. Keep drinking. <laughs> well, thank you again. You guys, if you are in Midtown West Manhattan, you have to try the Russian vodka room. I was so pleasantly surprised at these flavors of vodka and the amazing food they had here. I had no idea there was food, so this has been an awesome experience. Um, cheers to Flavors of New York. Cheers.